Happy holidays. 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 Nordic FuzzCon 2019. My very first furry con is a dog. Situated in snowy Stockholm, Europe's third largest furry convention promised fursuits, fun events, and tons of excitement in a Scandinavian setting. And it did not disappoint. But with dozens of major furry events happening around the world, what makes NFC truly special? Hey, slush puppies. These 10 brain freeze badges of brilliance go to the things that make the Nordic FuzzCon experience really stand out from the rest. He's the most huggable Rouse you'll ever meet. Central to the con's marketing and giving NFC its unique personality, Mousy has been showing up at conventions around the world to share his love for cheese and to help spread the word about Nordic FuzzCon. He's featured prominently on NFC's YouTube channel, filled with content recorded at the convention and some impressive and fun music videos promoting the upcoming year, including a heartwarming animation for this year by Jip Cody. You'll find Mousy all around the con in the form of amazing artwork on signage, mostly in this year's theme of the winter holidays. You'll love it. As well as a giant inflatable con goodies, and of course you'll find him out and about in fursuit, now joined by his cousin Iris. The rest of the con staff are very friendly, and I'm sure they're just as receptive to hugs, but if I had to choose, I'd definitely pick a Mousy Iris hug sandwich. Mousy contributes a great amount of the Nordic FuzzCon atmosphere, but meanwhile, the hotel complemented the wintry theme and weather with a much more tropical vibe. Running water flows between huge palms in a dazzling atrium populated by friendly hotel staff and bouncy, excited fuzzies. Freebies are in no short supply at NFC. Attendees could take home a full color con book filled with artwork and silly things, four daily issues of the What the Fuzz newsletter, stickers, these jumbo postcards, lanyards, room keys, stickers, a 12 page full color brochure for NFC 2020, and with a donation to charity, a Mousy Mused brand bottle of Yule Moost, a traditional Swedish holiday soft drink. For sale from the con were NFC t shirts and brightly colored wallets. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention the stickers, which leads me to the Hall Games. On the back of that sticker sheet, there's a game. Collect the nine special stickers throughout the con to be entered into a raffle for a free art commission. While hunting stickers, you could also hunt fursuiters. Most had a code on their fursuit badge for you to find and enter in the con's mobile app to catch that fursuit in NFC's Gotta Catch Em All game. Next, find a blip station and tap your con badge to it and see what special achievements you would get simply by virtue of your timing, who blipped before you, or your total blip count. Whether they liked it or not, every attendee became familiar with the blip voice echoing left and right. Blip. Blip. Blip achievements. Achievement unlocked. How cool is that? They unlocked an achievement. All they did was blip. I got a bunch of achievements myself, including one for blipping after the guest of honor. Come to think of it, that's artist KK Flipnote at his first ever furry convention as NFC's guest of honor. KK was very excited to see the Phantom up close, and was inspired enough to try and come up with his own fursona. At least that's what he told me when I ran into him at the fursuit zoo. So maybe my expectations were slanted by the US and its saturation of furry conventions, but NFC had a ridiculous amount of programming for a con of its size. It would take me forever to name all of the cool happenings in the schedule, but I'll give special mention to some that I've never seen at a furry con before. PowerPoint karaoke improv, the nerf war, where I learned that big bappy paws don't operate firepower very well, and this thing with these cats and these boxes. But knocking it out of the park was the fursuit zoo, part of the convention's open house where families and children can visit the hotel for free and mingle and play with the costumers. It may sound silly, but getting pelted by playpen balls tossed by laughing children is a very special moment I will treasure. It was hard to say goodbye to those kids, but eventually I had to pull myself away. Fortunately, NFC has a very welcoming headless lounge. You know, maybe we've started to take them for granted. No furry con was ever required to dedicate an entire room of convention space to make it easier for costumers to cool down and hydrate after a sweaty excursion through, say, the gullet of an inflatable dinosaur. Regardless, Nordic FuzzCon's lounge goes well above and beyond the call. Their headless lounge is an engineering achievement that will blow you away. Multiple industrial strength blowers and blower racks dedicated to different articles of clothing and storage space for your fursuit. Normally I'd be way too scared about leaving my belongings, but at NFC, convenience hits one out in the end. The lounge even provided suitors with sugary and salty snacks and drinks. And speaking of food, it's no fun to travel on an empty stomach. Fret not, Nordic Fuzzcon's got you covered. From the free hotel breakfasts, to the waffle bar, to the wine and cheese exchange. But if you're looking for that charming Swedish welcome, nothing beats Sir Strumming. Wait. Fika! Nothing beats Fika! And NFC's Cafe Snow Globe is the perfect way to satisfy that flavorful Fika fix fitted with furry maids. 
Aww. Now this right here is a food service game changer. If your order isn't delivered by an adorable husky in a vest, the establishment might as well phone it in. Moving on to the people. Nordic Fuzzcon is the only furry con in the world without a majority presence by the residents of its own nation. 70% of its 1150 attendees are from all over the world outside of Sweden. Flags representing your locality appear on badges, and learning where others were from was the most engaging and fun way to meet people. If you're ever traveling abroad and you're looking for the shallow validation that you get at home on Twitter when you see your like count go up. Just tell somebody you're from the United States. They're guaranteed to go, ooh. Guess what? I'm from the United States. You're from the US? Yeah. Oh. Hi, I'm from Hi, the yeah. US. All right, okay. <laughs> I'm from the United States. Ah, oh, cool. I'm from hey. the United States. Good for you. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> I'm from Say. the United States. So? <laughs> and? I'm from the United States. Yeah, I can hear. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. I'm from the United States. Well? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, so I don't want to say. It's really good, I guess. I'm from the United States. Oh my god, that is so cool. <laughs> You're actually from the USA. I'm sensing a bit of sarcasm. Nah, no, not from me, I'm Swedish. <laughs> <laughs> Last but not least, the party floors, of course. For the night owls, there were not one but two party floors happening on peak days of the con. Here's the renowned room 940 on Friday night. These were not the only things that made Nordic FuzzCon such an amazing and very special experience. I'd keep going, but I can't count higher than 10. I'm a dog. Did you attend Nordic FuzzCon? What was your favorite experience? Share a story in the comments. This is my first of hopefully many convention reviews. If you want to see more like this, give that like button a warm fuzzy hug. And be sure to subscribe to my channel for all sorts of fuzzy craziness to come. Thanks, bye. Happy holidays! Happy, ha ha happy holidays! Happy, 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 happ